hello again it's april here and welcome back to another studio vlog i literally just vlogged out on last week's studio vlog but it is still halfway through monday and it's a bank holiday so i've got uh plenty of time this afternoon so i'm gonna uh start the vlog now and we'll get out to some stuff so i'm in the office and last week i finished last week literally today like an hour ago i finished doing these shelves um so i'm really excited and I got my new setup here, so I'm gonna actually test it out now because I've got a couple of orders, just a uh, little sticker orders, but good for a test run. So I've got my, I got my envelopes in here. Um, these are, I don't know where I'm gonna keep my prints, but I'm gonna try and come up with a better solution than just shoving them here. I've got my tissue paper here, and then in here I've got all my washi tape, some string, pens, stickers, freebie stickers and then I've got like my zines and thank you cards here and I think this is going to be really cool because it's going to give me like a different background for the vlog so this can be for like packing orders my art room can be for art and then the computer can be for complaining about the printer and maybe the silhouette when it arrives hopefully I'll do less complaining with the silhouette than I did with the cricket but we're gonna have to wait and find out I ordered it this morning so hopefully it should be here tomorrow so we can set it all up and give it a test run I heard it's pretty easy to set up so I'm hoping it doesn't take too long to kind of figure out all the details but I'll worry about that later let's unpack some orders and then I'm gonna get on with some more uh, Etsy stuff the rest of the afternoon because I'm still trying to get my update out as soon as I can I put these this basket of lights that I, I've had for ages in the corner here. I don't know if that looks good on film, but it's quite nice just to have it there. Alright, let's test out the new packing station. You know what's missing, Martin? Yeah. My iPad. Normally I watch TV while I'm doing this. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> No, it's not, but if I had a lot, I would. In my little freebie box here, I have a bunch of these, like, spare prints that I just fit into gaps of the paper when I was printing my prints out. So I figured I could put in, like, maybe one in orders until I have my update, and I could write on the back, like, preview of my next update, check back for more, and maybe it'll bring some return customers back. I'm a genius. I'm still using these thank you cards, well, thank you slips of paper with a monkey on for my current orders. And then I'm gonna bring out my new thank you card, which if you saw last week's vlog, it's this one here for my 100 day update. I really like those ones. They use a lot of ink though. I have a full page of ink each time I print them. Thing I think we're gonna need in this packing station is a paper bin because we don't have one yet. It's gonna be annoying having to cart back rubbish to the other room. How many sugars do you put in this tea? Just one, but it was in a different cup and then I moved it because I put it in a smaller cup, so it's probably less, so it feels like more. Is it really bad? It's a bit sweet. Sorry, love. I guess it's like when you make me a tea with no sugar in it and I think it's gross. You know? Ta-da! So, I think the only thing we need is a bin and the packing station is perfect. So now I can just literally go over there and print out a label and uh, job done. Monday evening, I'm in the computer chair now so that means it's time to complain about the printer because that's what I do when I'm sitting in the computer chair. Uh, yep, cancel printing. I have been trying to print one, one, one page out for about two hours now. I've wasted so much ink, so much ink and so much paper. Um, I'm getting really frustrated. Not quite sure what's going on. I'll show you quickly on the old Photoshop. So I'm basically trying to print this page out, which is going to be for my notepads. And it has this uh, border around the edges here. And I've been trying to print it out for a long time. Now, it's super weird, okay? I've tried many different things to try and do, like, test prints. 
So I've put um I put a mask on the Photoshop layer just so to try and save ink and it prints out perfectly. I take the mask off, print it out again, and it comes right up to the border, right? This is one that I just did. I set the printing quality down to standard and it, it comes with the border. Perfect. So I thought, okay, got it. Turn the print quality up to high and it doesn't print the border. And I've literally tried everything. Uh, this is another one where I put the opacity down to try and save ink and it prints out the border and then I can't remember what I did here but I didn't print the border out. So basically this is how much paper I've gone through trying to figure this out and um, I just don't know, I don't know what's happening. I've been checking the print settings each time just in case like Photoshop does something weird but it saves the settings. So the settings are never wrong and it's really weird because I, when I print it at a different quality like standard it prints it fine and then as soon as I put it up to high or if I like add more colour I guess by turning the mask off it doesn't print again. So I updated my Photoshop to 2020 because I was still, still in last year 2019 and I updated my driver on my printer and that didn't work and I'm really confused like is it it's like almost like it it sees it has to print better and it gives up or something I don't know it's so weird so I don't really know what I'm doing I can't keep wasting paper and ink though but I really want to get these notepads out because I just really want to make notepads so I'm gonna probably just keep trying and Maybe I can make like a really fun collage with all the paper I've wasted. Like, I don't know. Maybe I can make like a paper mache um, flamingo or something for decoration. Could be good. Ah, oh, I wanted to get it turning on. Okay, so we have the cameo silhouette. No, wait, that's not right. We have the silhouette cameo and we are uh, making it go now and become alive. Look how cool it is. <gasps> Stupid Kruger didn't have lights like that. These are right over there. And um, the registration marks um, helps the... Delete that. It's only cutting the top layer, so it's not cutting the backing paper either. So it depends on the paper. So um, this is something you're going to have to... Okay, I think I'm ready for my close-up. It's Wednesday and I'm in the bedroom uh, at my art desk and I'm going to do a little bit of painting. I was going to work on like printing and Photoshop stuff tonight but Martin's in the other room uh, online chatting with his friend so I didn't want like my printer's pretty noisy so I didn't want to disturb him. It's quite nice to have a break from the computer anyway. I look like I have so much hair. I do but... What was I saying? Gosh, I feel so out of touch with vlogging right now. Like I feel like so discombobulated, discombobulated. Like I, I don't talk to the camera. I don't know. I just feel a little bit self-conscious talking, which is really weird. Um, so I'm gonna do some painting today, and I'm still working on my hundred-day project. And I'll just quickly show you what I did last night, cause last time I spoke to you, I just did all these print tests, which I'm gonna cut up and try and keep some of them. I don't know for something collage or. I don't know, something. I just don't want to throw it all away. And I finally got it printed in the end. What I had to do, it was really weird. Um, I've never had this before in Photoshop ever. I don't know what was going on, but basically I had my settings saved and every time I would do something, I would obviously like change the settings and then change them back uh, if something didn't work out. And as soon as it worked, I would keep those settings, but then the next one wouldn't work. And it turned out that I had to like go into Photoshop unchange the settings, change them back, and then print, and it was really weird. It was like Photoshop had the settings selected, but I just wasn't listening to them. I don't know what was going on there, but we got it done in the end. I'm a bit nervous about doing the other ones, to be honest, just in case something goes wrong, but finally got one notebook cover printed out, so I'll show you what I did. So I just wanted to show you quickly this thing here. It's a flower press, and it's the only thing I could find online that I could like press a notebook with 
um it's only a5 itself so it's quite tight just getting like an a5 notebook in they did have a4 ones but i just wanted to see what this was like and i don't think it's the best because it pushes on the edges and the, and it can kind of like push down here and then this bit is like it makes it curved but i have been flattening this book just to kind of give it a go and this was a so this is my test i have to trim i have to trim this because the, gu the guillotine didn't cut all the way through and annoyingly and it is a test because i want to do all of my notebooks like this but i trimmed the top and the bottom and it's really difficult figuring out how far to trim so um going forward i'm going to try and have the top and the bottom completely straight when i'm stapling and then i just need to trim the sides which would be ideal so i fixed this in photoshop but this is like the notebook this is my fruits one and it's basically just like my collection prints but on a notebook and it's the same on the back and then inside is my favorite part i made this pattern it's out of the blood oranges and i really love it so i made this pattern out of blood oranges and then you can write the date or your name here and on the back it's the same and it's got my little uh, monkey mutaka thing there so this is in dotted paper but i've also printed out lined and grid so i'm going to try and do one of each um, I'm still not perfectly happy with this with the color. I think I need to tweak it a little bit more Maybe get a little bit more contrast in there uh, But yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with how these are turning out. I especially love this. So last night I painted I uh, put it on Instagram. I've just I don't have it. It's in the other room, but I'll pop an image up here and I basically did a pattern of triangle squares uh, and circles to make a retro pattern and that's gonna be for my retro notebook so basically that's my idea for all of my notebooks I'm gonna have like the collection prints on the outside and then on the inside I'm making a pattern so the blood oranges were the only like pattern I painted in my 100 day project and I did try and make another pattern with birds and I'll pop it up on screen but I really didn't like how it looked it was very messy and I just didn't like it so I decided to make uh, separate patterns for all the insides and I'm gonna paint them all now well not now but I'm gonna paint them over the next few nights and then put them into Photoshop make a pattern all that stuff it's gonna be fun so tonight I'm gonna try and do feathers and that's gonna be for my birds I also want to do maybe like a cutlery like knife and fork maybe a spoon for my vegetables or plates could be fun as well and for the houses I want to do window like window frames and i had these written down but i forgot now what they are but it's fine because tonight i'm just gonna do feathers i think that's what i'm gonna have time for because i'm quite tired and i also want to cut all of these out so i'll probably do that first i've been saving up all my vlogs to watch tonight so i've got about four vlogs to watch very excited was gonna watch them at work but i kind of feel today i was kind of busy doing like thinky stuff so i couldn't watch them so I just watched catfish instead in the background all day because that stuff you can just put on and you don't actually have to think about it. I've watched an entire season of catfish in the last three days. I know, pretty impressive. Just having sketchbook pages and drawing because I'm finding it hard drawing her arm because like the face, but the arm is very, very wrong. Maybe I could find something that could draw. A This is hard to somebody's arm or like this. I ended up having a little art chat yesterday with Sasha and I forgot to film the rest of these. But I painted some feathers and I also painted some windows. <laughs> and I'm gonna make some patterns. But I'm cooking dinner right now, so I gotta go do that and also I want to take this into procreate later and put the um lines on them I don't know what you call it but the the bit that holds the feathers together hello it's Saturday today my friend um okay I'll start again I'll start again because that was just terrible my mum's coming in about half an hour with her partner Marty yes her partner's called Marty and uh, Martin's called Martin it does get a little bit confusing the lawnmower people were here on a Saturday do they have no respect I have company coming round 
it is a lovely day out and uh we've got a few things planned like going for walks and stuff even matt and his parents are going to come around and like we're going to have a little lunch it's going to be awesome so i've got about half an hour we just spent the morning like tidying up and cleaning and things so i'm just gonna pop onto photoshop and do a little bit of my etsy stuff while i can i might show some stuff today maybe you can meet my mum if she wants to be on camera and then we'll get back to etsy stuff tomorrow i think so it should be a pretty good day i'm looking forward to it they have arrived. Ah, oh, might as cut his hair. <laughs> and this is Big Top Waffle House. They ran it down, so basically they filmed it over there in the reeds, and then you saw all the waterfall behind it, and that's what it was. Know, like CGI. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. I'm Virginia Water with my mum. Mum, do you want to say hi? Hi. I got um, two ice cream in my People say we look the same, so I'll just pop my, our names on the screen just in case you guys get confused. <laughs> Rusty, where's your bone? Do you like your bone? <laughs> Good and dark. It is um, Sunday morning now, and I've been up for about an hour. So I'm just gonna pop into the office today. Gonna do a lot of stuff with Etsy today. And if you can hear grunge, 90s grunge music in the background, that is Martin. He downloaded Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Remastered Edition or something. So he's gonna be in the lounge all day doing ollies and having a kickflip. So that'll be good because then I get to be in the office by myself all day. And uh, don't get me wrong. I do love Martin but we spend every day together in the same office so sometimes it's nice just to chill out by yourself don't have to wear headphones can listen to whatever music I want so that's gonna be good and I'm gonna work on my notebooks this morning see how far I get with those and then in the afternoon I want to have a look at the silhouette because I haven't even really had a look at it yet so I want to see if I can at least make like one sticker sheet and one die cut sticker today just to kind of like so I'm cool with it and I am calling the silhouette Gertie after the robot from Moon, which is an awesome film if you guys haven't seen it. I think it's on Amazon or Netflix maybe. One of those, I'm sure you can get it free somewhere. It's a really cool film. It's kind of like sci-fi, but also like almost like a thriller. It's really good and the soundtrack is done by Clint Mansell who's one of my favorite like composers, I guess. He's done a whole bunch of soundtracks and sometimes when I'm just in the mood for like some epic music, I'll put on like a Clint Mansell soundtrack. So if you like epic music and sci-fi, uh, check it out. Not sponsored. <laughs> As if you thought I was sponsored by, by, a, by a movie. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go pop into the office and get to work. So I've been at it for about two hours roughly and I'm just kind of like going through Photoshop and making sure everything's in order and printing at the same time and when I say in order I mean that the like all the edges and everything are okay because basically I'm trying to print my notebook and I'll show you an example so this is just uh, my, my bird one that I, I print, just printed out a minute ago and it's printed out uh, lower quality so just to save ink and then so basically what I was trying to say is I'm trying to print out I'm trying to print it out so all the borders are equal around the entire thing after I cut it um, so it's been a little bit of trial and error and I did a couple of tests just on paper like trying to cut the border out and then cut it on my guillotine. My guillotine is a little bit finickety, so you have to kind of like line that up pretty well, otherwise it cuts it crooked like this. But I think I finally got there in the end, so I've done a couple of print tests, and I was having some issues where I finally got it working fine here, I got all the right print settings, 
And then when I turned it over, and this is my feather pattern from my feathers that I did the other day, and I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. Um, but yeah, it was it wasn't going completely to the edges. So what I have to do, I have to set the print settings differently for the front, so you get the border, and then the print settings differently on the inside, so it goes all the way to the edge. And I think these ones are the only notebooks I'm ever gonna do that have a border, and the only reason I have it as a border is just because the insides all have borders, so it looked a bit weird bringing it to the edge, but it is a pain, let me tell you. So before mount, I'm gonna try and print out uh, one copy of each of my notebooks and fully make them so hopefully in the next hour because I'm gonna be quite hungry in an hour and then I can show you after lunch all the notebooks because you probably don't want to see like the computer screen it's a bit crap to watch but I am I'm looking forward to cutting some notebooks and seeing how they all turn out I think they're gonna be so cute and I really hope everyone likes the inside pattern because that's my best part. I kind of want to make the inside pattern a pattern on the outside of some notebooks because I think they're so nice. But we'll see. That that's that's we'll just get this done first and then we'll worry about other things. It's the afternoon now and it's taking a lot longer than I expected to uh print everything. This is like that I've just taken over the office. I've got my snacks, my snack bowls, I've got my coffee, that's I forgot to drink this morning, <laughs> a bit of a mess. I've made two notebooks. So this is the houses one. I did cut it a little bit too close. Oop. A little bit too close to the edge there. So I think this is definitely gonna take a lot of practice. And as I mentioned before, not gonna do a border again. And maybe I'll just try it without the border. I mean, it might not look too bad if it comes up to the edge and then has a border on the inside, I don't know. So this one has, square paper thought I'd give that a go like gridded paper and this one is windows so it's like window seals window panes whatever and then on the back more windows and my thing my bobby and then this one here is uh, retro so it's got my retro stuff and on the inside I did line paper and I did uh, this cool retro pattern which was really fun that's what I painted all those shapes for last week and my Lego again so I cut this one actually pretty good. These ones I have to make, I've got a few bird ones, but I'm just, I'm just gonna make one. I've got a fruit one. I have under here my vegetable one and my plant one, but the vegetable one doesn't have. Okay, I can't just put that to the side. The vegetable one doesn't have a pattern on because I actually remembered that I need to paint that. So I might do that in a minute. Um, and I'll show you the rest of the patterns when the book books are made up. But I'm having a bit of a break because I just wanted to try these stickers while the light's still good. So I've printed them out on paper. Pretty simple. I didn't even do a cut. I didn't even do a cut line because these were PNGs. So I'm just doing the cut line. I'm just doing the cut line automatically that I picked up and I'm just going to see how that works. And all of the settings I stole from Liz V Art's video because she uses the same sticker paper as me. So, going to give it a go. First time using it. I sent it, I accidentally sent it, I like I pressed send and I hadn't printed it out. It took me a while to figure out how to print it out because in the Cricut you, it's like a print and cut so it prints it then it cuts it. But this one obviously you print it. You, you print it first, you cut it after. So this is gonna be super sticky, so I'm gonna have to like, try and make it unsticky a little bit. This is a super weird angle. I have you, I have the camera like on the windowsill right now, so hopefully it doesn't fall off. It's very sticky. Um, <laughs> we'll just see how it goes, I guess. So, first time using this, I'm a bit nervous. I don't know if, I think I need to do it this way. I don't know. I mean, it's been pretty easy so far to just kind of like figure it out. I've watched a couple of tutorials but I haven't followed them, like I just watched maybe four the day I got the silhouette and then I just literally jumped in and played with, played with it myself because I'm like that, I just, okay I did see on Mini Smalls though that I was watching Mini Smalls video which I've already seen in the past but I didn't have a silhouette in the past so I didn't actually take much notice of it but she was having trouble because this was pulled out so Make sure that's in, and let's give it a go. Uh, well, first of all, that just doesn't, <laughs> doesn't go in there. All right. Ah! 
What does this do? What are these buttons for? All right, um, how do I roll it in? How does it go in? I honestly have no idea what I'm doing with this. Okay, it looks like it's stuck on these two things here. I love how I literally don't look at the instructions. I just hope for the best. It's like my life, just literally hope for the best. Maybe I can use this thing. Wait, wait, is that the back? Holy shit, that's fast. Oh, I just turned it off. Shit on it. I didn't realize it was going to spit it out at the wall. Oh my gosh. All right. Take it. All right, sent it again. It's, re it's reading it. Spell it out. It didn't hit the wall. It's doing something. Oh my god, that wasn't meant to happen, was it? Oh, wow. Oh, that's completely off. Wow. It cut it out pretty well, but it's a bit off. Um, I don't know if that's because it cancelled it and then put it through again, or if it just couldn't read the square. Like I said, trial and error. I haven't even looked at the instructions. But what is this for? I don't even understand what this is for. So this cut it out a little bit better, but it's still wrong. I think I just screwing it up because I keep stopping and starting it. Maybe I'll just do it on some paper and just see if that works. I'll just like do a test print. Guys, this um this mat is so sticky. It's like torn all the back and off. And this is really annoying. I watched someone's video of someone um just popping it in and they just did it exactly how I did. Like just popped it in to the machine. Like nothing special about it. So I don't know. I might just do like a really simple, like something in circles or something, I don't know. I have that overhead light on which I don't know if it's going to be a problem and I just printed off super light, like 20% opacity of my logos just because they are circles so I figured it would be super easy to do. It's just on really cheap paper as well and I've just set up a completely new document, new um, project theme my Bob in Gerity. <laughs> And uh, let's just go for it. So it looks like it is cut and good at the top. That's centered, don't know if you can see because it's so light. At the bottom and to the edge it looks like. Too far out, I don't know if you can see that because it's so light but it's cut in the bottom here. Um. Maybe it's the, my print settings, because I had it set to borderless, which I'm not sure if I should do. Um, that's what I did on the Cricut, so I might have to do another test. This is role player stuff, this isn't happening in real life. Ashley travels on her adventure and, and shares her tale to the younger women of the coven or in her clothes. And I just thought that, that visually, it was such a cool idea. So that is definitely, I probably maybe would have actually embroidered little things on a cloak, but ain't nobody got to draw things in the sketchbook that maybe, in the sketchbook that maybe. So it's about five now. Um, I tried to make the silhouette work for a good hour, but it just doesn't work. Um, beginning to think maybe it's me. Um, no, I tried it three times with my little logos. That was after doing the birds. And that didn't work, so I complete, made a completely new file and I made my own cut lines in the silhouette instead of using the PNG cut lines, just in case that was a problem. And that didn't work. And I tried different printing things, because like I said, with the Cricut, I used to do borderless. So I tried it with borderless, without borderless. Um, and I made the registration lines thicker and I turned the light on. I don't know if it's the light, I don't know if it's the printer, I don't know if it's like settings or something and also I used like really light uh, cutting I used washi tape which the lightest I thought I figured would be washi tape right and then I even made the cutting go down like I made the cut lines really small and it cut through the mat so it's like cut through the mat so I've literally cut I think five times altogether on this mat 
three times with my logo circles, twice with the birds, and it's cut through the mat already. So I'm not impressed, not impressed, not happy. Um, I was gonna try and just get my notebooks done today, but my printer's run out of ink. Don't have any more. It was ordered, but I accidentally got it ordered to Martin's work, because I was using his account. I got it ordered to Martin's work instead of our house, so I had to cancel it, and I thought, I'll just do it next week, and I forgot. So now my print, it, my print, it, my ink's run out, and I haven't, I don't have a replacement. So I can get that tomorrow. Basically, I can't do anything else on the computer today, but I have made four notebooks. So I cut the bird one out, and inside are the feathers, which are my favourite. I think the feathers on the inside look so cool. The fruit one you've seen with the oranges. You've seen the retro, you've seen the houses. So these are completed. And I have half of my lined paper here, but I couldn't finish the other side. Because it won't let me. I keep saying it's out of, out of ink. This is the plant one, and I'll just show you the back. It's the one of my paintings that I just duplicated and kind of made into a pattern. So I think that would be kind of fun. And then obviously the last one, which I showed earlier, is the veggies. And I don't have a pattern for that, so I think I'm going to do that tonight before bed. And at least then all the patterns are done. So I just have to um, print this side and make stick them together. So that's my plan. Uh, probably going to go make dinner now. And I think we're going to watch a film just because I feel like watching a film. And after that, if I'm still awake, I'll do some painting for the patterns, which should be fun. So I'm just gonna turn the computer off now, call it a day in the office because tomorrow's Monday, which means I'm gonna be in here all week for work. So it'll be nice to get out of here for a couple of hours tonight. It's Monday now, uh, just after work, just finished and switched my computers around. I have my vlog all ready to go as being posted tonight, but I didn't want to post it because I felt like the end of the vlog was a bit of a fail. I didn't finish my notebooks. I couldn't get my cricket to my ugh, I couldn't get Gertie to work. I'm gonna have to stop saying cricket. It's just ingrained in me. I've been saying it for like a year now. Um, so I just wanted to kind of like end on a bit of a high note rather than a low note. I did another test last night, I actually didn't end up painting because I did another test with the silhouette, I just couldn't let it go. And I actually realised that there was a calibration thing, so I calibrated it, had some troubles calibrating it, but we got there in the end and I kind of got it working. So I did another like very like light print just to save some ink because my printer at that point was like I don't want to print anymore, I don't have any ink, leave me alone. So I just like forced it to print and it worked. So I'm really crossing my fingers, I'm hoping it's going to work. I set up a new document now, it's printing. So I'm going to pop it through uh, Gertie and we're going to see if she cuts it out and I really hope she does. And then I can end the vlog because we know that we've gotten somewhere with the silhouette which would be awesome. Oh, and I like wearing my hair like this sometimes because I feel like a pineapple. So I'm going to try and do these birds again. It's just on a very thin printer paper. And we're going to do a little test. So this is the state of the mat right now. And it has cut through a lot. Last night, look, watch this. That's kind of painful. Ow. But last night it cut through three times on three, three crosses. Uh, I don't know why. I literally, there's no way to set the depth when you calibrate. So it kept, I kept setting this stupid auto blade to like one and then before it would go, it would like go beep, 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 and go to like eight or something and cut through, which is really weird because I was telling Liz as I was doing it and I was telling her that I basically wanted to quit and just um, maybe become a dog walker and she was telling me that she has used like setting nine and it's never cut through before and so I was really confused. <laughs> Okay, I literally had to cut. Okay, look look at this. On this stupid machine here, I have the cut set to three. Then here, on this stupid auto blade, it's gone all the way up to 10. I don't understand why it's not going to the right cutting depth. Look, it would have been perfect. It was cutting round, perfect, and then it cut through the mat. 
see and then it was jerked it and I went off course and let's cut through the mat here let's cut through the mat here so basically this is like a useless mat now I mean so after a little bit of mayhem and madness finally got some paper cut out Good news is it cuts perfectly around it, so I think I just needed to calibrate, so all that's working. Now I just need to figure out what's going on with the mat, so I'm going to have to buy a new one. I did try my Cricut mat, but I just didn't seem to like it, like it just wouldn't register. I mean, I can't make any more stickers until I have another mat, but I'm calling it a, a success. So it's just after dinner now. I was going to leave the Cricut for the night and just uh, upload the vlog. But before dinner, I was uh, messaging Liz because I was asking her about her mat and about like the lines and the blades and trying to figure all of that out. And she noticed that my blade wasn't in properly, which is really embarrassing because at the start of this vlog, well, at the start of working with a silhouette when I mentioned uh, watching Mini Small and I said, oh, she said the blade had to go in, so I'll make sure it's in right. And then I still didn't put it in right, so... It's in, it's in right now. So basically, these were out too much. So pop those in properly. I thought I had, but oh well. I can't do a proper bit cut again because I need to get a new mat. But I did another cut just to make sure everything worked. And the little blade thingy my bob went to two, exactly how it is in the software. And it cut around it perfect. So again, I would call that a success. I'm happy that we got this far, a bit annoyed about the mat, but it's fine. Uh, these things happen, don't they? I don't know, I just thought I was either having really bad luck or I was just really stupid. Turns out, just a little bit clumsy. Probably should read the instructions first. And, I don't know, maybe, this is like, life thing though. I always rush, rush things. I never like, I'm not really detail orient orientated. I'm more kind of like, the woods, rather than a single tree, if you get what I mean. But it's cool. It's all learning. It's all learning, isn't it, life? So we got there in the end, and I think next week I will try and get a new mat. I'll try and get a new mat like tomorrow. So next vlog, hopefully we can get some stickers made and the rest of those notebooks, maybe some other little bits. And we're getting closer to opening the. Uh, we're getting closer to the shop update, which is cool. So I'm going to finish the vlog there. I hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog and that you have a lovely week. Hopefully I'm going to have another video out on Thursday. I do have an idea planned for it. So make sure you pop back for that. And I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.